J. Mikey Mike, and we're doing it from scratch today with Show Express 6.0. And I'm going to show you how to build a couple of scenes. Uh, take a look at the scene we're going to build today. This is the scene we're going to try to recreate. This scene here is a spin effect. Uh, I call it my purple spin. Uh, this is about one second uh, between fixtures, uh, between steps. And when you're working with Show Express, you have to think in reverse. So as you see, the lights are turning, illuminating as they go around the room. We're going to build this uh, as the lights turn off. Each step, the light's going to turn off. So it's going to create it in reverse. Uh, so remember that when you're building scenes or steps in Show Express, you're doing it opposite of what you're starting out with. The first scene ends up being your last scene that you create. Okay, so we're going to go and build that scene real quick. It's a pretty cool effect. Used it last night at New Year's Eve. Program was awesome. Um, and here we go. First thing you're going to do is notice uh, I have about uh, 31 steps in this scene. And they're all set to 0 0.10 seconds. Okay. Now, if you want to make it spin even faster, you set this to less seconds. So I can go to the next step over and make that a 5 and it would zip around the room. Okay, so um, don't forget we're doing this reverse. So what we're going to do is we're going to open a new scene and I'm going to turn all my faders on by hitting my hotkey for my park hands. Turn all the park hand faders on. Go to my 3D viewer so you can see a little bit what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to make this green. Okay, instead of a purple one, we're going to make a green one. Turn all my green lights on. Now I'm going to adjust the scene duration to the same as the last one. So I'm going to put zero. I'm going to put a one right here. Okay. Now that all the lights are on, we are going to insert a step. So this is going to be the last step. The last thing you see is all the lights on. Okay, let's remember that. Now we're going to go to our first par can. Now we have to go to all channels. Scroll over to our par cans. Now if you put all your par cans in, a, in as a group, they should all be right next to each other. So it's easy to think about this when you're working with your par can. Um, and grouping is very important. So, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to turn down the color. I'm going to turn down the fader. So this will help uh, work with transparent cues. Since the color's up, it if you drop another line, well, I'll explain that to you later. But if you drop something else on it, the color's up, it'll change. Anyway, um, we inserted a step. They're all on. First, first step, second step in the scene is going to be the first LED park hand is turned off. As you notice in the 3D viewer, right here, the park hand turned off. Now we insert a step. Now the next step is to turn park hand 2 down. Insert a step. Go to park hand 3. Insert a step. Park hand 4. Insert a step. Park hand 5. Insert a step. Park hand six, these are the step. Oh. Park hand seven, these are the step. step. Now it's real important that you eight. call this out because you get confused after a while. Thirteen, these are the step. And it's hard to do on the video because I get really confused. Uh, 14. Enter the step. And you get a rhythm going here and you'll pick it up next slide. Okay, now we're at 21. And now we're going to go do my small cans in the vertical trussing.
and the last step. Okay, now we're going to push play, and we're going to watch our magic go to work. And there she goes, spinning around the room, um, depending on how you create the scene, on how fast, you get a different effect. So if you really want to spin fast, you can create it faster. Also, you can also go to live page and step up your, your momentum and it would actually go faster also. So this is a pretty good speed to work with. Okay, so I'm going to uh, minimize this a little bit and we're going to go to the live page, insert this scene, and stop it. Let's go to the live page, and I'm working with my PAR can, so I'm going to go to the PAR page, right click, insert a light scene, go to my, oh, I didn't save it, my bad. Um, this uh, scene right here, we want to go to uh, save as, I'm going to call it PAR green spin. Actually, this is going to be on. Spin on one. Let's save. Okay, now. Okay, we're going to uh, go to work on my PAR page. I'm going to uh, right click on PAR, insert, or add a light scene, and I'm going to go to green spin one. Open. That just added green spin one to my PAR page. Go back to the editor, turn off the DMX, uh, the 3D viewer and go back to my live page and now we can watch our work in magic here okay turn on turn on our 3d viewer in the live page and hit par green spin one oh it didn't work hit par green spin one and there it goes all our lights turn on in reverse of what we did See, it's in reverse of what we did, so you got to think backwards when you're creating your scenes. Okay? Um, now, I'll show you a quick color overlay in my in my PAR scenes. I have several different colors uh, built already. Here's a static blue. Here's a green. And now if I stick the PAR spin on top of it I have purple green and blue going so that is uh, white if I take off uh, the purple spin now it's light blue if I took off the green spin it's light lighter blue if I take off the blue it goes back to green so you can see these are uh, transparently overlaying on my spinning so you can create static colors, which I'll show you in another tutorial, that will overlay on top of some of the scenes you build, depending on what parameters you use. Alright, so this is DJ Mikey Mike with Direct Sound. Doing it from scratch, you should have a 6.0 scene building with DJ Mikey Mike. Peace.